yeah good morning yeah I'll be like I said I'll be teaching you guys every single step um process by process but quick one I don't want to waste time on this video um once you want to generate the first thing you have to do first um is to, when you want to pay your fees you have to first um you go to your student login you log in first that's after you've done your portal registration if you've not done your portal registration i advise you to go and do that now so let's see um one okay yeah this is this as you can see okay the portal is open i guess the portal is fast this time so you can see so now you go to your e-wallet when you click on your e-wallet it will bring generate remitter number credit remitter number view remitter wallet so now you click on generate remitter then you scroll down you see this when you scroll down you see it shows that she has balance of 1000 era as you can see this, she has balance of 1000 era here so 1000 era so this is student name uh, matric number phone number then the amount if you want to put any amount let's say 50,000 era you're going to choose a payment type you have to choose bank branch because it's in you're going to pay in the bank so i would advise every one of you to pay in the bank i don't do an online transaction i won't advise you to do that sometimes it's do hang so you pay now you can see this it's a very simple one you can see now you've generated the amount of you see this fifty thousand one hundred and sixty one and twenty five cobo so you can see you scroll down you can see this this is the so you this is the remitter here over here you can see this this particular one here this is the remitter that you take to the bank you can write it down or you can screenshot it so now then proceed submit You can see now they are going to ask you card do you want to pay through card i would advise you to do that if you want to well um you put your card number the month and so on that you pay but sometimes the payment will take time so you can choose a bank account so but the, the one I'm, I'm going to advise you to choose is bank branch just choose bank branch it's something that's very easy then clicking on bank um, bank branch they're going to give you the remitter the same remitter number you saw this is it so we're going to click on print invoice you can see this i don't know if you can if you can so this is your remitter so you can either screenshot if you're using a phone or using a laptop so i'll just advise you to to just choose one is either you screenshot this thing or copy the number out make sure you can you don't lose the number um you copy the number or you make a screenshot I, i'll prefer you to make a screenshot so you can have a record you can keep it or if possible save it now i'm going let me see i'm going to save the file um sometimes i can easily save the file mm, blah 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 and i'll save it so that's it i have to much work on that so that's it that's how to just then you go to the bank and pay it's a very simple step very simple step just go to the bank and pay so if you take this step gradually i'm 100 sure you're going to get the process to see that so when you're done with it um then when you're done with it you go back to your portal okay you go back to your portal then um you click on student login again submit 